I'm here at St. Stephen's Catholic Church in Portland, Oregon. Today is the second day in our novena to Our Lady of Good Success. It's a bit of a chilly morning here today, but it's supposed to get sunny this afternoon. Actually, the blue sky is already starting to, to poke through a little bit, so that's a sign of great hope. Let us begin. Let us just launch right into this. With the act of repentance. In nomine Patris et Filii Spiritus Sancti. Amen. I believe in Thee, O my God. Strengthen, O Lord, my faith. I hope in Thee, O my God. Affirm, O Lord, my hope. I love Thee, O my God. Increase, O Lord, my love. I repent of having offended Thee. O my God, help me to have contrition, so that I may, with the help of Thy grace and the powerful patronage of Holy Mary of good success, never sin again. O Lord, have pity and mercy on me. Amen. Opening Prayer O most excellent and immaculate Queen of Heaven, most holy Mary of good success, most favored daughter of the Eternal Father, most beloved mother of the Divine Son, most cherished spouse of the Holy Ghost, sublime throne of the Divine Majesty, august temple of the Holy Trinity, in whom the three divine persons have placed the treasures of their power, wisdom, and love. Remember Virgin Mary of good success, whom God hast made so great, so that thou canst give succor to miserable sinners, Remember that thou hast often promised to show thyself a merciful mother to those who have recourse to thee. I come to thee then, mother most merciful, and I beg thee for thy love of the Most High, that thou shouldst obtain for me, from God the Father, a lively faith that never loses sight of the eternal truths. From the Son, a firm hope that always aspires to reach that glory that he won for me with his blood. And from the Holy Ghost, a charity so inflamed that I will always live loving the supreme goodness and thee, most holy virgin, until through thy intervention I should love and enjoy thee eternally in glory. Amen. We salute thee, Mary, as the favored daughter of God the Father. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We salute thee, Mary, as the chosen mother of the divine Son. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We salute thee, Mary, as the singular spouse of the Holy Ghost. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us turn to the meditation for the second day of our novena. Consider how the providence of the Most High desired to so favor mankind by manifesting the hidden treasure of the precious statue of Holy Mary under the avocation of good success. After the death of Brother Bernardine de Obregon, founder of the Brotherhood of the Friars Minor for the Service of the Sick, the Order of St. Francis of Paula. Gabriel de Fontenay was elected to replace him. Accompanied by Guillermo Rigosa, he traveled to Rome to ask the Supreme Pontiff for his official approval of the Institute and the habit, with the purple cross that distinguishes the order. As they were passing through the town of Traigueras, I'm probably pronouncing that incorrectly. Please forgive me. Under the jurisdiction of Tortosa in the Principate of Catalonia, they were caught in a terrifying hailstorm with lightning and thunder so strong that their hearts were filled with terror. They begged God to provide them with a shelter where they could take refuge so that they might prepare to die in peace. For the unrelenting rigor of the storm had persuaded them that they would not survive it. However, God in his divine mercy so disposed that this search for shelter should be a presage of a good fortune. In a burst of lightning, they were able to discern a turnoff in the path. Following it, they could see the contours of a cave set far up in the hill above them. Even from the distance, they could see a bright light illuminating its interior and smell a sweet and heavenly aroma, more intense than anything on earth. Their souls were inundated with a great happiness as well as a sentiment of reverent admiration. At the same time, they felt an interior interior impulse 
to know the cause of such wonders. Well, there's a continuation of the story, and we will continue with our next meditation tomorrow. Prayer. O God, admirable in all thy works, may thou always convert the most hazardous occurrences of life into proofs of thy mercy, and in the most desperate storms may thou show the preludes of thy prodigies in our favor, just as thou did with the Minorite brothers by means of that terrifying storm. Grant to us, through the intercession of the Queen of Good Success, the virtue of patience, to suffer with a resigned spirit the trial sent us by thy divine will, because at any moment thou can change them to consolations in this life, and afterward grant us thy eternal reward in heaven, where we will always sing thy praise and the praise of Holy Mary. Amen. And let us pray the act of thanksgiving. If you have the little booklet, it's on page 19. Otherwise, I know uh, that, well, I'm hoping you've found the link for the printout of the Novena Prayers beneath in the description of this video. Act of Thanksgiving. O blessed, O virgin, blessed among all women, we lack the words to give thee thanks for the innumerable blessings that we have received from thy hand. The day of thy birth can be called the day of thanksgiving, happiness, and consolation. Thou art the honor of mankind, the joy of paradise, the beloved gift of God, and the well-being of our country. What merit do we have, blessed virgin of good success, to deserve to have thee as our mother? May God be forever blessed who has desired it so. Blessed also art thou, Virgin Mary, because, despite our ingratitude, thou showest us thy propitious favor. Thus art thou, most clement mother, our consolation on earth, our refuge, our help, and our protection in both our public and private needs. Safeguard us from war, pestilence, hunger, storms, earthquakes, and all the calamities which we merit by our guilt. Pray for the Holy Church and for her visible head. Hear the supplications of those who invoke thee. Be thou our advocate, our mother, for as thus do we place our confidence in thee. To thee do we have recourse, and through thy intercession we hope to achieve from thy Son pardon for our sins and perseverance in grace until death. Amen. Now let each one of us raise up our hearts to God and ask through the intercession of Blessed Mary of good success the graces and favors which we desire to receive. In other words, let us call to mind our intentions for this novena. And for all the intentions of those praying this novena. Praises to the Holy Virgin. The response is, come to our assistance and show us mercy because thou art our mother. O Virgin Mary, our mother preeminent above all on earth, come to our assistance and show us mercy because thou art our mother. Above all others, thou were attentive to the word of the Father who does great things in thy honor. Come to our assistance and show us mercy because thou art our mother. Thou art the most worthy temple of the most holy trinity. Come to our assistance and show us mercy because thou art our mother. In thee is that same purity the angels enjoy. Come to our assistance and show us mercy because thou art our mother. The Christian world proclaims that thou doth reign on the right side of the King of Kings. Come to our assistance and show us mercy because thou art our mother. O mother of grace, O our hope, port for the shipwrecked and star of the sea. Come to our assistance and show us mercy because thou art our mother. Gate of heaven, health of the sick, light in the darkness, come to our assistance and show us mercy, because thou art our mother. Through thee we will find ourselves before God in the court of the saints where he lives and reigns. Come to our assistance and show us mercy, because thou art our mother. Guide our steps and help us, O sweet Mary, in our last hours. Come to our assistance and show us mercy, because thou art our mother. Receive this praise from our tender lips, which cannot express thy singular grandeur. Come to our assistance and show us mercy, because thou art our mother. Holy Mary, save the miserable, help the weak, intercede for the afflicted, plead for the people, intercede for the clergy, petition for the faithful, permit all those who celebrate thy holy memory to experience thy favor and assistance. Pray for us, O Virgin of good success, so that we may be made worthy to receive the promises of Christ. Let us pray. 
We ask thee, our Lord and God, that thou grant us health of soul and body through the intercession of the glorious Virgin Mary. Through her merits and those of her sovereign child, Jesus, we hope to be freed from the present evils and to attain eternal happiness. Amen. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Well, join me tomorrow for the third day in our novena to Our Lady of Good Success. And don't miss a day of prayer with us.